Yo, Matt. It's crazy, man. We're really making this happen. Uh, this scene right here, I'm gonna need you to, you guys, are, you know, you're talking on the beach, you're chilling, you're vibing. Man, y'all realize this is our last year of college. After this, we gotta get jobs, pay for student loans, which here never goes away. Dude, we on spring break right now. We in paradise, and we should be having the time of our lives. Instead of listening to you talking some depressing after-school bullshit, you way too young to be having some midlife crisis. I hear what you're saying, but the thing is, yo, we're young, and we're trying to have some fun. So, see those honeys back there? Let's kind of go over that way and talk about this later, all right? And cut. Woo! Oh, come on, man. Matthew Hiller. Bro. The next big thing out here right. making it happen. Yeah. We on the set of your first feature film, man, Life's a Beach. Talk to the people, all your future fans, what you want them to know. Man, I don't know, man. I'm just out here living my dreams, man. You know? I want all y'all to do the same thing, too. All right? Live out your dreams. Day 470. <clears throat> and sometimes I um, feel like Tom Hanks in Castaway, or Matt Damon in The Martian, or um, Chris in Into the Wild. What was that guy's deal, man? The wilderness is just not a safe place to be. But I'm I'm not in the wild. I'm just I'm just at my house. It's, it's just crazy. I always just do this, right? Okay. Hey everyone, it's me, Matt, and I'm back. <laughs> I just I just want to update everyone on the progress of my new movie, Home Improvement, or Honey, I'm Home. Or, or it's good to be home. I'm still, I'm still working on the title. Uh, let's see, we got a few comments here. Uh, Il J says, Matt, I support your creative spirit. Keep up the good work, Il J. I'm on it. Um, Pretty Pink says, Matt, when will you go back to making real movies? Uh, hey, PP, I, um, I, I am making a real movie. It's, it's just from home. Uh, yeah. Ever Dark says. Uh, fuck you, Matt, you're a phony. Um, okay. Uh, and Happy Guy says, Matt, you should kill yourself. Don't think I will, but okay. Uh, I, th I think, I think we're, uh, we're good for today there. Okay. Okay. Time to write. Or not. <clears throat> And I don't, I'm broke. I don't have a lot of money. Like, if I cheat on my girl now, and she decides to bust my car window, that's it. I don't have car windows. I got to put a trash bag on my car as a window. Not even a clear one, like a white bag on it. I got to rip it off. No! Oh, we lost Bobby. Damn it. Okay, time to write. Babe, I'm home. Babe? Are you? How was your day? Uh, it was rough, honestly. But you know what they say. Hopefully tomorrow's better, right? You, you maybe want to talk about it, or? Sure. Why not? 
So I go into work and I punch into the clock and I have to deal with these idiot customers who are like, how does this look on me? Does this make me look fat? And the answer is yes, ma'am. It makes you look fat because you are fat. Right. And Brittany, oh my gosh, babe. Brittany gets on my nerves so bad. Literally, everything's just so happy all the time with her. And then I go to my acting class. We learn the same thing over and over and over again. And then I go to my audition and it ends with, thanks, we'll call you. And they never do. And I'm just starving, so I'm just gonna throw some clothes, get some food. Damn. Yeah, that's, that sounds really rough. And a lot like a monologue. But why, 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 why you gotta go out though? Right? Why aren't you just staying with me? We could, uh, we could order some takeout. You know, I can Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. That's all you ever do is Netflix and chill. Play video games, Netflix and chill some more. And that's why you're getting fat. I'm not getting fat. What you mean? We, we, we both know I have a high metabolism and, and I do CrossFit. And, and you and I both know I don't just sit around all day and watch TV and play video games. I'm, I'm working hard on my movie. What is it? Look, I just ordered your favorite shrimp linguine. All right, well, we, we can watch whatever you want to watch. I'll even give you a foot rub. A foot rub does seem tempting. Come on. No, no, I gotta go. I Where are you to rushing off to? You've been gone all day. You go hang out with friends, Matt. Something you don't know about because you don't have any, do you? I do. You do? Who? C Cedric's my friend. Cedric? The guy who helped you produce your first film? Okay, all right. When was the last time you spoke with Cedric, Matt? Oh. Uh. Huh? Okay. Exactly. You wanna know why? Because he became a big Hollywood producer while you became this little hermit thing. And you know what, friend? Another thing, I should have been in that daggone movie. Oh, here we go. Look, yeah, here we go again. We had just started dating. I, I didn't even know you wanted to be an actress. How could you not know? I was a model. Obviously, I wanted to be an actress. You know, I'm not doing this with you. I gotta go. But Samantha, can you, can you at least... What? Can you please take out the trash before you before you go? Come on. What the fuck? Better question. Why is this on here? I don't remember where I'm being in What? Huh? Are you being serious right now? <laughs> no, hey, no, this is a <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> is this guy's dick the punchline? Cause I'm not laughing. for you with those fake ass Paula Patton tears of yours. Okay. All right. So you went on here that I cheated on you? No, not really. Well, I did. Sorry. Not sorry. Why, Samantha? Wait, haven't I been good to you? No, not at all. Are you serious? You haven't taken me out in forever. No trips, no shopping, no nothing. Not that you could, because I'm sure that Life's a Beach money's got to be gone by now. Sam, come And you know what else? You haven't been, you know, satisfying me, you know, in the manly ways. Okay, okay that, that, that was like the last couple of times. Okay, and, and, I, and I told you, I've, I've, I've had a lot on my mind, the, the, the pressure of making this film. You, Matt, oh my gosh, <laughs> listen to me. There is no film. Okay? There's no film. There's just you in this house afraid to go outside and make shit happen. That's what there is. Samantha, come on. Hey, wait, what? Wait, well, why are you leaving? Can we at least just talk? You want to talk? You want to work things out? Then come out here and show me, Matt. Show me that you really want me. Samantha, I do want you. 
and come show me. Come outside. <sighs> you know, I know it. I'm so done, Matthew. No, Samantha, come on! Just in the back, I can I can give you a tip. It's, it's literally down the side. That's cool, man. Hey, bro, hey, no, no five stars for you. Okay. Man, forget you, Sarah. How can you leave Peter for a rock star, man? Like, what the? She leave me for a rock star. <laughs> oh man, this is her favorite. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> this will make for some really good footage. <laughs> hey, Dave. Uh, I don't recall requesting any maintenance or anything. Maintenance? <laughs> That's funny. Then how can I help you? Uh, the better question is, how can you help yourself not get kicked out this bitch? I don't understand. Maybe this will help. A three-day pay or quit? No. No, this doesn't make any sense. I, I just paid my rent. Yeah, with a check that bounced, like you'll have to do very soon. I'm not leaving my place, man. Look, look, I'm going to take care of this right now, all right? Just... Here. <laughs> man, I'm not taking this, man. You got three days. Three motherfucking days. Wow. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's just more motivation for me to make this film happen, right? Okay, so let's finish up this script. It's uh, Matt Hillard. Hey. hey, Steven, thank you so much, man, for coming by on such short notice. Just Steve. And it's all good, man. <laughs> I love acting. I mean, it means everything to me. It's life. That's great. <laughs> let's um, let, let's get to auditioning then. All right. All right. I'm sorry, I don't have any sides. I'm still finishing up the script, but uh, you, you can do like a monologue if, if you have one. I got you, buddy. Okay, cool. Here goes everything. All right. So you want to mess with me, pal? Okay. How about I snatch your eyes out, cram them down your throat, and have you choke on them, you little punk pussy bitch? Ah! Ah! Scene. Ah! And scene, 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 ah! Steven, scene. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So do I get the part? Um, what was that from? Well, when I was in the psych ward, shit got real. Okay. I'll call you. <laughs> you better, man. Otherwise, I'll come back and stab you in the head. Hey. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. 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 
Say it. Matthew Hillard. What up, man? <laughs> man, what's up? It's been a long time. Way too long. I heard you, uh, you, you working on some type of home video? Movie? Type of thing? Yeah, man, yeah, it's, uh, a little bit of, like, a little passion project. You know, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, passion projects are cool, Matt. They really are. But they don't pay the bills. You know what does, though, right? Oh, no. Uh, comic book movies? Okay, well, those pay for everything. But what I'm talking about, Matt, is sequels. Sequels? Sequels. Wait, you calling to talk to me about the... Yeah, goddamn right I am, Matt. Life's a beach, too. Let's do it. What you think? <laughs> feature right now, man. I am so happy you said that because this time you wouldn't have to. A studio wants to finance it for us, Matt. All we gotta do now is attach you as the writer and director. But hey, this deal, man, is off the table in a few weeks, man. We gotta close it soon. Nah, I can't do it, man. Nah, I can't do it. Still refusing to walk out the door, ain't you, Matt? No. It's just I, it's just I, got, I got this other project, man. This this whole breakup thing with me and Samantha, I, I can't even focus on all that right now. Man, I'm trying to figure all this out. You know what, Matt? Say no more. Um, how about I just stop by and we can talk about it in person? I don't, I don't, I don't think that's... that's <laughs> yeah, man, I'll see you in an hour. We good. No, no man, that, that, man, I'll see you in like 20 good. minutes, my brother. Scan here. Look over here. Hey, said, what's going on here? What's going on is a party, man, and I'm here. Mm. Well, uh, we're here to celebrate the return of Matthew Hillard, filmmaker extraordinaire, baby. Life's no, no, a no, beach, no, too. No, Don't no. leave me hanging. Now, now's, now's not a really good time, so. It's... Loosen up, man. Ladies, make your way inside, make yourself at home, make a sandwich, whatever you want to do. I already got an erection. Let's do it! Mm, this is better than anything. This is crazy. Uh, Matthew. My boy. Uh, <clears throat> so about this sequel. That's it, man. I, I already told you, dude. I'm you want to do it, right? No, I'm not trying to do that right now. Because of this other project? What's, what's it even called? I'm still working on the title. Where's the script? Let me read it. I'm, I'm still, I'm still working on it. <laughs> Have you cast any actors? Uh, d due to a recent turn of events, I've, uh, I've, I've decided to just play all the parts myself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. That sounds awful. You're better than that, Matt. Come on, man. You need to be making real money, making real movies. Ain't getting a whole lot of this. Damn, you smell good. <laughs> Listen, Matt, you've always deserved better than that big forehead having, weird chin, spank attitude having, all right, said, weird said, breath. That's enough, man. That's enough. I'm not. I'm not doing the project. All right, and and it, and it's way more than me not. You know what? You ever seen Clerks too? I don't think anybody's seen Clerks. Too. My point exactly, man. It's like a like a, a bad night out with your friends that you just wish never happened, so no one talks about it. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Listen, Matt. Fuck Clerks too. You understand? We are talking about life's a beach too, man. What we made together. Think about it, right? Martin is on the beach, right? Contemplating getting married and everything that comes with the married life, man. And if he really wants to jump the broom and not Matt, it's genius. Let's make millions. So, uh, when are we gonna get to the sex? Because I have other clients to see. Ooh, sex? It wasn't part of the original package, but, um... Are you serious? Oh, yeah, that's my specialty. We can talk, I know. Excuse me, boo, I gotta do this. But you gotta move now. All right, come on. I already know, you got attitude. 
Hey, Sid. Huh? Please tell me you didn't just bring hookers into my house. Come on, man. I wouldn't bring hookers in your house. I brought escorts. There's a difference. Man, what were you thinking? Man, I'm thinking that I got to get you out of this damn house and back out there. Back in the game doing what you love to do, man. And don't say you don't miss it. In college, all you talked about is how I was going to be Brian Grazer to your Ron Howard. No. People change, man. I know, Matt, and I get that, bro. I really do. I sympathize with everything you've been through. It's hard. But you can't let that stop you, dog. You can't. Dude, I appreciate the pep talk, man. I really do. I, I just, I think you should go, man. I, I got a movie to make happen. I already paid him. <sighs> what the fuck? No, no! Y'all gotta go. That's enough. They can handle that. No, they playing around. They're not playing. Hey, y'all can't be doing this right now. No. Where you going? Hey, come on, ladies. We gotta go. <gasps> Matt. Oh, what? You got some nasty side for saying? Hey, pop it off. Baby, your mom. Oh, tell her I said hot. Wait, where y'all going? Look. What, 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 Hey, Miss Elliot. Listen, Matt. Life's a beach too. What the hell is this? Matt, no. Thank hey, you. I'm Thank not you. no girl. Hey, this is a new blazer. Matt? Baby, what? Are you having a party? What's wrong? Hey, ma no. Yes. Yes. No. I mean, I mean, no. Cedric, Cedric brought some girls over. Things got a little bit crazy. Cedric, that boy ain't nothing but a womanizer. I don't even know why you hang out with him. To make movies, ma. We, we made movies together. Yeah, well, you don't make movies anymore, so there's no need to hang out, right? Which brings me to my next point. Baby, what are you doing for money these days? I don't understand what's happening. Ma, I'm, I'm, I'm still making movies, Ma, okay? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm working on one right now anyway. You know what I think you should do? I think you should go out and make a movie like a real director, you know, like that Mr. Spielberg. Like no, Steven Spielberg? Very okay. good. And everybody likes his movies, so you should be like that. I am a real director, Ma. I'm, I'm just trying something different. If you say so. Did you get the box? Yes, I did. Did you open it? No, I didn't. Are you gonna open it? I don't know, Ma. Matt, I know you don't want to hear this, but I really think you need some professional help, sweetheart. I, d I don't need any help, Mom. I think you do. So now listen, now just, just talk to me for a second because, see, I've been reading my books, and they say you either need a therapist or some drugs. And you know mommy does not do drugs and I don't want you doing drugs in your Clearly the only path is therapist. Have you thought about that? There's a big world out there, baby. There's butterflies and fish and trees and everything that you haven't seen in a very long time and I just want you to experience the world. And also, Samantha, your girl, she's not gonna hang around and wanna sit in the house all day with you. Yeah, um, yeah, we, we broke up. I wonder why. So it's my fault? I, I'm just saying, no woman wants to sit in the house and eat bad Chinese food and have sad-ass foot massages, and that's all you got to offer right now, sweetheart. Look, you need to expand your horizons. Go out, find some career opportunities and make it happen for her. You want to keep oh your girl, God, don't you? Ma, for real. Okay, then let's make I it happen. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Baby. Yes! Sorry, hang on. That's room service, sweetheart, and um, oh wow, the um, the food looks really delicious. <laughs> um, mommy's gonna, mommy's gonna call you back, okay, baby? All right. Fuck this. Intruder! Intruder! What the hell are you? Stay in my place. No, man! No, this is not your place, man! This is mine! So get out! I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. I'm smoking a whole lot of weed and it's got me tripping. We'll trip the fuck out of my place, man! Hey, all right, just give me a second to compose myself, man. Damn. What are you doing, man? I'm smoking... Smoking some of that purple OG Yoda Kush. It was all in the bushes. It's jungle booty. 
Like a goddamn safari. Okay, man, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear about all that. All right, I, I, I just, I just need you to go. You're like a black Tarzan okay. swinging in and out. Okay, right, I don't, I don't want to hear about that. I need you to go, like right okay, now. Okay, all right, just, just hold on, my dude. Just wait a second, okay? I, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna uh, leave him. No, I know you, man. You're like mad familiar. You. You hacked him? It's sort sorta. I, I did this movie a while back. I I wrote and I directed. It was called Life's a Beach. Oh word, that is you. Yeah. Yo, that's my joint. <laughs> it's uh 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 clerks at the beach is what they call it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was <laughs> It was like a um, like a little inspiration uh -huh. for the film. I I just wanted to do something like outside, you know, okay. a lot with a little, yeah. you know, with a good view. Got the beach. All oh, them booties up in there. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, one hell of a view, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, I do, I do, I do, I do writing too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, come sit down. It ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Yeah, so like I said, you know, I, I, you know, I do the right, you know, started off doing stand up. Wait, Norman Reed? That is I. Oh shit, man! Mm -hmm. Me and my boys, we used to, we used to come watch you <sighs> back in the. You've been doing this for a minute. Yeah, I have. <gasps> yeah, I've been doing it for a minute, but I ain't like, you know, I ain't like prosper and blow up right, right, the right. way I intended. So I just started, uh, you know. Got into writing stuff, you know, wrote a few scripts. What you write, man? You know, I, I wrote a few things, you know. Uh, you ever hear of uh, Stick Em Up? You nah. Know, you ever heard that? Yeah. Nah. Crime drama. It's about this dude, he, he be robbing people, he robbed the rich and he give it to the poor. Poor, poor mainly him, though. He. I was like, like. Yeah. It was like Robin, Robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something, something, something like that. Okay. Yeah. And um, you, you ever hear of uh, Little Miss Sunshine? You hear that? You wrote that? No, no, I didn't write that. But, but I wrote something similar to it. It's this, this movie called uh, Little Miss Goodfoot. Yeah, like my sister, she a dance mom, and she's this bitch is crazy. You know? oh. I could be having my niece doing all kind of dance moves, oh. shit she can't even do. So oh. She be having her dance so much, she be busting moves in her sleep. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, she be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In her sleep, though. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's the crazy part, right? <laughs> what you, what, what you, like, what you, what you working on? Oh man, uh, I'm just doing this little movie from home. Uh, it's, it's like me, just like running around doing doing shit around the house and shit. Uh. It's like it's just me. So. <laughs> just that, just that use. Uh, oh shit. Oh, you you dead ass serious, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, that shit sound horrible. But you know, and you you might be able to pull it off though. You know, cause I I seen your skills and you 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 nice with them. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, that should be believable. But you know what though? Like, check this out. You should you should let me help you write it. Like I got yo, I got mad jokes. Great ideas and I don't know. my timing is impeccable. I don't know, man. No, I'm just saying you ain't look. If you worried about bread, you ain't gotta pay me a dime. Just let a brother get a little shine. That's all I ask. A little <laughs> shine, Playboy. All right. That shine gonna that shine gonna get me paid. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, all I don't, right. I don't want no bread from you. All right. Man. Yeah. Well, it's 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 still just gonna be starring me though. So. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we, we can talk about that. It's all good. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. There it is. Love. My, the door is... Oh. Uh, the, my room oh, is yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, show is. Yeah. That yeah. sure is. I think yours is on the yeah, other yeah, side. Yeah. It's nice fancy. Thank you. Yeah. That kid. That kid shit dope. Um, 
Yeah, can I help you? Matthew Hiller, I take it? Yeah. <laughs> um, you, uh, you here for like a signature? Are you doing like an interview on me or something? You... <laughs> no, my name is Lisa Cole. I'm here because your mother hired me to help you with your condition. Oh no, I don't. I don't have a condition. Yeah, so I don't. I don't. I don't need any help. So you, just, you just go. Yeah. Okay, sorry to bother you. No worries. Uh, I'm sorry you wasted your time. <laughs> it's just that your mom had purchased this package deal, and I'd really hate to just you know take her money like that. Then just give it back. <laughs> I can't just give it back. There's a no refund policy, so sorry. But I know that if it was my mom who spent three thousand dollars. Wait, hold up, three thousand of her personal, hard-earned retirement savings. Okay, all, all, all right, all right, all right. Damn. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Come on in. But just, so, just so you know, I don't, I don't have a problem. Okay. Fill it out. The fuck. Did you, did you want some water or some snacks or something? Oh, no, I'm fine, but thanks for offering. Yeah. You should have took the snacks, because you're not going to get anything else out of me. I pretty much put my whole life down on those papers. Um, it's fine. I just want us to address your condition so we can work towards resolving it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have a condition. I'm, I'm just fine. Okay, well, after speaking with your mother and reviewing your questionnaire, it's just as I figured. You suffer from agoraphobia, which is a fear of going outside due to trauma and loss. It affects 1.7% of Americans in the U.S., and this is your condition. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have agora... Whatever it is you just said, I, I, I choose not to go outside. Just say it. I can do it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to work. Because you don't think that I can help. <laughs> I really want to help people, and I try really hard to help people, but you know, maybe I just suck at no, this. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 you, you, you can help me, all right? It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? We, I'm consoling my new friend. She was, we're sitting here talking, we're, talk, we're talking about some stuff. Stuff. <laughs> I've been gone for less than 48 hours and you're already hooking up with somebody else. You, 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 you hooked up with someone else before we even broke up. Who is he, Sam? Is he a rock star? No, he's an actor, if you must know. And you know what, we met at an audition and he took me out and made me feel wanted and special and, you know, some other things I'm sure you can figure out from the picture. You're disgusting, Sam. And you're pathetic. So, how'd you two meet? You know, since he don't go outside. Oh, it did. Is she an escort? Have you been talking to Cedric? Okay, so I hate to intrude, but it sounds like you two need to take a Can you please place? shut up? Talking. All right, Sam, you don't, you don't got to talk to her like that. Okay, okay first of all, I can talk to whoever I want, however I want, when I want to, you know, but... One second. Hello? Hi. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> Thank you. That was my agent. I have an audition to go to. I'll be back to get my things, so. though. Or I could just leave them outside for you. Or burn them. I have no idea how she has an agent. She has never booked anything, ever. Well, thanks for sticking up for me. Yeah, no problem. Where were we? Me trying to help you? Yeah, let, uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to start off with some breathing and visualization exercises okay. so we'll get comfortable. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'll close your eyes. Take deep breaths. Now visualize what you fear the most. Oh no, I don't think I want to do that. Okay. Too soon? Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll get there in time. You mind walking me to my car? Yeah, I'm 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 usually more of a gentleman. 
But uh, I, I hurt I hurt my leg, so. Okay. Maybe next time. Yeah. Oh God. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, Matt. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna help you, I promise. disorder. Hey, what's up, Seth? My man. What up, boy? Man, just over here doing some research. <laughs> oh, um, uh, I got a new writing partner. A writing partner? Oh. Um, stand-up comedian Norman Reed. You remember from uh, the Shaking Martini back in the day? That guy's a writer? That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> People say a lot of things, Matt. Listen, we got this deal on the table, bro. Okay? Man. Big money we talking about I, right now. I told you I'm, I'm focused on making my film right now, man. I got, the, I got the new writing partner. I'm gonna be rehearsing soon. We're gonna start filming soon. That... I'm sorry, man. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not doing the sequel. You know what? Listen, I'll call you next week. You know, we'll figure it all out. Because I know your schedule is just busy right now, and me too. So we'll we'll talk about it next week. All right. The director of Tangerine can do it. So can I. So this is how you want to play it, huh? I'm from the streets, and that's how we play it over here, homie. Just because you're from the streets don't mean you can't elevate higher, my brother. As long as we in this land where they made us slaves, we ain't ever gonna be free. So this how you wanna play it, huh? I'm from the streets, and that's how we Clearly I gotta do some rehearsing. Hey, Ma, what's up? Baby, I am just treating myself to a luxurious, fantastic bath. It's gonna be awesome. You know what? You should treat yourself more often, too. You should. Are you okay, baby? Yeah, I'm just, um, uh, I'm having some complications with the new movie. Ma, why did you, why did you hire me a therapist and not tell me? Huh? The therapist, Lisa? Who? Ma, I, to I, to I told you already, I don't need any help, okay? I'm good. Baby, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I just wanted to help you. Okay? Are you are you okay? Are you getting better? Is it helping? Yeah, yeah. A little, a little bit. Well, that's good, right? I mean, soon you'll be able to go outside and make real movies again. Ma, I am making a real movie. Ma, I'm t you know, I don't I don't I don't have time for this right now, all right? I, I just want to let you know Mommy's so proud of you. And I love you so much. Okay? Do you love my... What? Sorry, baby. Um, mom. Mommy's gotta go. But, uh, I will call you back, okay? I love you, baby. I, I, I gotta... Go. Samantha, what are you doing here? Well, I originally came to get the rest of my things until my friend calls and tells me that you're doing this. What the hell? I should have been the first person you called when you decided to do this, Matt. No, I didn't decide to do anything. It's the Hollywood Reporter. They don't print lies. You're doing Life's a Beach too, and I want to... But I'm not. All right, and even if I was, why would I put you in the movie? Because you love me. Duh. But you cheated on me. Let's... You know, leave that in the past and focus on the here and now. 
The here and now mm -hmm. is you getting your stuff that I already have packed and ready for you and leaving me alone. I'll get my stuff and I'll go. But I'm not giving up on us getting back together and me being a star. Yeah, that's not happening. We'll see. Penis the strength to resist this thirsty she devil. Swallow. See you around, big boy. What now, Dave? What now is the next step to me kicking you the fuck out of here. This is for you. Yo, an eviction notice? Yeah, a motherfucking eviction notice. You've been motherfucking notified that I'm evicting your bitch ass. Yo, this, this, this is crazy. I could just grab my checkbook right now. We can settle this. Are you serious? Fuck your checkbook. Fuck you, you broke ass motherfucker. Like, who? I can't wait to kick you the fuck out of here. You so out of here. <laughs> Hey, why did you put that information about me doing a sequel to Life's a Beach in the Trades? Because I know you really want to do the film. And you know you really want to do the film. Me putting that info out, man, that's just your boy pushing you in the right direction. Okay. Okay, let, let's just say, say, let's just say that I want to do it, and I'm not saying that I do. How, how does that work with me not being able to go outside? Man, I don't know. Okay, you take a look in the mirror, and you say, yo, I want to make a movie. I want to make some money. I want to go get a woman who won't leave me. And then you take your ass out the house and you go do it, Matt. I don't know, man. I'm not a shrink. You figure it out. Dude, I'm trying, Ted. Matt, trying is for little kids and for losers. You're a winner, man. Come on, Matt. Just make it happen. Come on, bro. Come on, baby. We're gonna be late for the move. Baby, I'm trying to make a movie. You're trying to see a movie. And did you check in the rehab? <sighs> Day 480. And, uh... Feels like I could be close to... to, um... going back outside and, uh, making films again. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? <laughs> Speaking of, let's see what's up with the other humans in the outside world, right? Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. Let's do some more comments, right? <laughs> uh, let's see, um, uh, PJ Butter says, about damn time you get back to making the magic happen. Uh, Suzy Q says, I love you, Matt, and I can't wait to see your new movie in theaters. <laughs> um, Steve the Stabber says, I better be in your film or else. What the hell? I I'm gonna make this happen, you guys. Okay. Hey, Norman, what's up, man? What's up, me? Are you mad at me? Hell yeah, I'm mad at your ass. How you gonna do the sequel to Life's a Beach without even telling me about it? I didn't tell you or anyone because I didn't even know if I was doing it or not, all right? I still don't know. My producer's trying to persuade me to do it because the studio wants to pay him to make it. Now I'm even more mad at your ass. How you not gonna do the sequel with the studio and get me involved with the shit? I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to do something different with this film I'm making. Something different with the... You're talking about the film where you in here by yourself with your own thoughts. That film you talking about? Yes, that one. You out your motherfucking mind. I think it has potential, man. And you told me you would help me with it. I, I, I will help. Let me, let me see the bullshit ass script real right. quick and see what you're working with. God damn it. We in this land 
Where they made us slaves, we ain't ever gonna be free. What in the entire fuck is this? You don't like it? I, I, I don't even know what the fuck it is not to like. It makes no sense whatsoever. I was, I was trying to, you know, film a movie that takes place at my house. Interesting, right? So I just, I created like all these crazy scenarios and crazy characters. No, 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 this shit is whack as fuck, no. You gotta make this sexy and make it cool and exciting and shit. Look, check this out. So you got this woman, right? She fine as hell, right? And she's in this kitchen cooking, right? And she cooking naked. But she cooking like she's frying something and the grease pop on her and make her shake. She knocked the skillet over into the fire. Now it's fire everywhere and she gotta try to escape no, I it. I don't, I don't know about the fire thing. That's Sounds like dangerous. Oh, no, no, no. You got to think Hollywood, brother. Like, they don't use real fire. Nobody in Hollywood use real fire. It's, it's fake fire. It's, oh, none, none of that in this movie. Okay. It's just, it takes place here, and, like, none of the characters even leave the house. Okay. So. Right. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, check this out. Look. So it's these bums, right? And they, and they like, martial artists. But people don't know, and they be like, like fucking with them on the street, and they be folding these motherfuckers, like with with like these moves that they got, like like the cardboard and and the the shopping cart. Yeah, that you know. sounds ridiculous. So uh, 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 just, um, that doesn't even make any sense. Oh no no no, this motherfucker's ridiculous. What you need to be working on is the sequel to Life's a Beach. Instead of writing this bullshit. I'm still working on it. It's going to get better. I'm just focusing on this right now. <laughs> you so. still don't get it. <laughs> no, you burn this motherfucker. Like, I will give you the lighter fluid and the matches to burn this motherfucker. Right. I don't ever want to see this shit ever again. This shit is sickening. You hear me? It's like actual lighter fluid. I'm talking real fire this time. Real this you time. get what I'm saying? Okay. Burn this with real fire this Got time. It. Okay. Oh, this... Talk about burn, I'm ready to smoke. Shit. That's what I think I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna smoke a little bit. Okay. Now, if you wanna go clear your head and go see some real titties, mm -hmm. and uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Maybe not another time we can. No, no, you need to see these though. These is real titties, like. Yeah, I'm, I know you're not a fan of this, but I'm just gonna focus on that and try to fix it up. A little bit. If you keep working on this, I promise you, your life is going to be a disaster. Okay. 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 You brought me a plan. That, that's so thoughtful of you. Something from the outside. I, I kind of already have one, but that that's this cool. It's, be it's beautiful. Thank you. Well, I have something else for you, too. Close your eyes. Build the sand. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? Free. What did you think of? Place I miss very much. The beach. Because life's a beach, right? Wait, you seen my movie? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> you acted like you didn't know who I was. Because I wanted to be professional and not come off like a groupie. I see. So, the meditation worked. Now, are you ready to talk about what happened that caused your condition? Nah, no, fuck that. Okay, well, just so you know, you overcoming your fear enables you to empower others to be inspired by your victory. Kind of sound like a really wordy fortune cookie. <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. I love Chinese food, so it was, it was most definitely a compliment. Oh, you want to talk about your breakup? I mean, you guys did break up, right? Yeah. So how are you handling that? I don't really want to talk about that. I mean, when does anybody ever really want to talk about their breakup? I get it. 
And I've been through a lot of really bad breakups and I don't want to talk about them either. You know, and I just sit and think about them and how I'm all alone. Sometimes it makes me want to cry. Wait, are you really crying right now? Or is this, is this just an act? No, it's, it's my condition. Your condition? Yeah, I suffer from emotional hypersensitivity. What the hell is that? It's when you're overly sensitive and emotionally fragile. The symptoms are more extreme emotional responses and a heightened sense of self-awareness compared to others. And I thought about all that and was like, oh, make a perfect therapist. Oh, I should be going to go see my therapist. Thank you. Hey, Sid. Matt, what the fuck? Where you been, bro? I've been going through a lot lately, man. I know it's hard to jump back in the ring after everything that happened, but you gotta do this, man. I get it, I get it. I appreciate the push, man, and I'm I'm working on it. Alright, so just just give me the info for the meeting and I will be there. Matt, I knew you was gonna come through. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, look, um, the meeting's coming up real soon, man. Okay, real soon. I'm counting on you. Yeah, no, no, no. I got you. My boy. All right. Let's do it. All right. Fucker, you're a fucking dead man. <laughs> Do you hear me, Matt? I can't, I can't really talk about that right now. You don't look so good. Are you okay? Yeah, my, Lisa's actually here. That's She just went to the bathroom. That's why I answered. Yeah, I, I gotta go, Ma. Okay, okay, that's okay. Okay, I love you. I love oh, you. I, I love you too, Ma. Sorry about that. I've been drinking a lot of water and haven't had a cry in a while, so I've been having to pee a lot. Is, uh, is oversharing one of the symptoms of your condition? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't on the original list. <laughs> so, anything new you want to talk about? It's, it's just right, right when you think everything is going to be okay, something happens. And it's just like, nope, not happening. What happened? Motherfuckers be crazy. I don't get it. Did someone try to do something to you? Well, some, some, someone is always, always trying to do something to someone. Because, because there's a lot of crazy people out there. You want me to go out there so I can die. I don't want you to go out there so you can die. I want you to go out there so you can live. I thought you wanted that oh, too. No, I, I do want to live. And that, that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Just safe and sound. No, you're not. This is not life, Matt. You do know that, right? Why 
Why am I sitting here arguing please, with you? Please, I'm, I'm sorry. This, this, this just isn't gonna work. All right, I just, I think maybe you should just go. You don't think this is gonna work? Because I really believe that we're making progress. I told your mother that we were making progress. Please don't make me out to be a liar. No, please don't, don't cry. I'm not. I'll just go. No, thank you. I will be fine. Yo, Matt. What's going on, man? The clock is ticking. Stop dicking around and call me back, bro. We gotta make this deal happen. I've been trying to FaceTime with you, but you haven't been logging on and answering my calls. Is everything okay? Hi, Matt. Just calling to see how you're holding up. And to say you do have the strength to face your fears and get back out there. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. Hey, babe. Tell me what's going on with you. No. You know you can do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. I heard the stories about you. And I get it. That was some fucked up shit that went down. But that's life. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Fine. You ain't got to talk about it. So what you gonna do? Just let your life go by? Yup. Mm. <laughs> you can't do that. You got to get up, get out, and make something happen for yourself. And when you succeed, I want ten percent of everything you get. Okay. And you get up and you get your shit together. Before I make it fit to eight percent. Oh, you gonna roll your eyes over twenty percent? Better be happy and give me that twenty-five percent. Right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Tripping over thirty percent. It's not like we're not even negotiating. Thirty-five. Right Stuff. No, I didn't. I checked. You did. Well, you don't mind, too. So I came back. For you. Look, I'm not really trying to do this with you right now. Mm -hmm. or, or ever again. We're over, Samantha. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to get that? Mm -hmm. Could be an audition. Maybe even a callback. Mm -hmm. This could be a big break. My big break is right in front of my face. It's typical. All of this is just about you getting what you want. Not what I want is a second chance. And I think after everything I've been through with you, I deserve. I, I didn't force you to stay. I, I'm, I'm sorry that I was so fucked up because I experienced some really fucked up shit. But you could have walked away at any time. Okay, but I didn't want to. I loved you, and I wanted to be there for you, and I fucked up, right? But, baby, who cares? I can change, you can change. We can have a fresh new start, we can be that power couple we always thought we could be, no, you know, like Will and Jada. No. Yeah. No. no, that's not happening. No? No, I, I know you're used to getting your way all the time, but not this time. Not this time. Oh, shit. All right, Samantha, mm -hmm. listen. What? Baby, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. It's just me. And you. No. Just focus on I'll me. I'll be right there. Okay, just seriously? Yeah. 
Hey. Chris, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you to wait in the car? And I was, but I got a call from my agent about a last minute audition. What the hell is going on here? I thought you said that you were picking up something from your parents. And what's with this text about I can just leave? And who is this guy? Chris, is it? Yeah. And you are? Matt Hillard. Wait. Writer and director of Life's a Beach? That's me. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, that is my shit. I fucking love that movie, man. <laughs> and word is, word is, you're doing a sequel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you are, I gotta get in on an audition for that, right? Because... Wait, is, is that what this is about? You trying to come and audition for him on the low? That's exactly what this is about. Yeah, I, um, just didn't want to tell you unless I got the part. Hey, how you just going to try to sneak and get this opportunity on the low by yourself? I thought we were in this together. I mean, this isn't you trying to sleep your way in, is it? Oh, no. no, I'm not that kind of person. I want to make it on my talent and my talent alone, okay. you know? Well, Matt, did she get the part? Hey, can I audition too? <laughs> Actually, because I got chops. No, I, I don't know, man. I don't. I, you know, I gotta consult with my producers, my casting director. You, you know how it is. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. But hey, look. Don't forget about me, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, Sam, I gotta get to this audition. Let's go. Hey, Chris, can we can we get a quick minute? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But Sam, if you're not in the car in five minutes, I'm out. All right, and yo, Matt, I'm glad you're back. Keep doing your thing, <laughs> yes, man. Yes, sir. Keep doing your thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hewitt. <laughs> I knew that you still loved me. That's just it. I don't. Bullshit. Why would you just cover for me, then? Because I didn't want that guy to feel what I felt. Maybe, maybe I just want you to see how fucked up you really are. And unless you completely change, you're just gonna keep fucking things up for yourself and everyone else. Fuck you, Matt. Samantha, I really think you should get some help. Like professional help. I should get some help. You, of all people, are telling me I should get some help, that I'm crazy. Right? You're right crazy for thinking that you could ever make me happy. Fuck this. And fuck you too. I really appreciate you stopping by. I've been meaning to call you and apologize for what happened last time. Just wanted to make sure that you were okay, and it's cool. I'm sure that with everything that you've been going through, it's just a lot to deal with. No, it is, but that's, that's no excuse. So how you been? Up and down, you know, um, I, I, I do feel like we were making progress. And then, um, and something happened. What happened? I don't really want to talk about it. Did you fall off a cliff? No. Get hit by a car? No. Shot in the line of duty? No. So what is it? I just don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. So clearly, I'm failing at this, so I'm just going to go. Oh, all right, all right, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, I, I had this, this guy audition for my movie, um, Steven Vendetti. And he came by my place recently, and he threatened me. If he wasn't a threat anymore, would that help you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that would, yeah, that'd make me feel a lot safer, actually. <laughs> yeah, I could, I don't know, I could. Could what? Get back to making movies again. 
I don't know, like, take a stroll, maybe? <laughs> Outside? <laughs> With you? What is it? Is it my breath? Uh, n no, I just have to pee, but all this sounds really great, Matt. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go. Are you okay? Uh, no, I, I'm just gonna leave, and you should probably clean up your place as a mess right now. Wait, I'm confused. I thought you said you had to pee. I do. I mean, I did, but now I'm gonna go. Wait, I gotta are you go. crying? It's my allergies. Wait, it's not your emotional hypersensitivity no thing? Wait, Lisa, come on. What did, what did I do? <sighs> Please come back, please. I, 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 I can explain everything, or, or just call me, please. To my son, you're 18 years young this day, and your life is just really starting to begin. Now, I know there's a lot of things that you want to do, and despite all the challenges that you may endure, I still support you, son. Just when you make a big please retire of me and your mother. <laughs> and no matter what happens in life, son, keep following your dreams. Love your dad. good stuff. Day 498. And, um, it seems like I was almost free, but nope. <laughs> no. 
No, this place, this place is gonna be the place I'm gonna be at until Dave's punk ass kicks me out. <laughs> man, I, I fucking hate that guy, man. But I love Lisa. And she left me. She left me because of Samantha. That woman is out of my life and she's still ruining it. <laughs> that is some really bad juju. <laughs> and my mom, my mom tried to help me, but it doesn't fucking matter. Nothing matters. <laughs> doesn't matter. Except my dreams. But now all I'm living are these nightmares. I, I'm living a nightmare. And Cedric, man, I'm letting Cedric down. Oh, Dave. Hey, what the hell do you want? Hey, man, actually, I heard that you were doing a movie, uh, a sequel to a movie you did before. That was a big hit. Oh, you did? Like, yeah, it's all over the Twitter, man. Oh, is it? And? Been hitting that bottle kind of hard, haven't oh, you? Oh, I've been hitting the bottle kind of hard. And if I have? Hey, man, whatever feels right. Right. Like, but look, I was thinking what you do in this movie, you gotta be getting paid, so you uh. think you'll have that rent check anytime mm -hmm. soon? Mm. 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 <laughs> no. No, I don't have it, but when I do, you'll have it. Okay? Hey, look, man, that's cool, because look, I would hate to have to evict a big superstar like exactly. you. Exactly. You know can't. what? But you know what? Speaking of superstars, in addition to being a property manager, I do a little bit of acting. Oh, wow. You know? <laughs> Fuck no. Oh. No. Hey, but if you change your mind, man, let me know. I got your back, man. Lysa Beach. Motherfucker. Go away, Dave. Okay, I don't have your money, and you can't audition. And I hate you. Hi, baby, it's me. It's mommy. Mom, is that you? Yes. Can you please open the door? Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Hey, Mom. Oh, wow. You look terrible. Well, Mom, I finally opened the box, and look what I found. Are you proud of me that I finally opened it? Yeah. I yeah. finally did it. Give me this. You need to sit down. Really? Oh, babe. Oh, God. You smell like a street corner wino. You know, the last time we talked, you said you were getting better. I was. And it just all, it just all went to, to hell. I can see that. Baby, I've been calling Lisa on her phone and she's not answering. I'm calling you on your phone. You're not answering. I want to know what's happening. I mean, is she helping you? Is she getting you better? I love her. I love her, Mom. Oh. Lisa. Oh, no, baby, no. You can't love your therapist. That's unethical. And quite frankly, it's just plain. You can't help who you love, Mom. God. Baby, I brought Lisa in to help you get your life back. To get you back to doing the things that you love and to get you out of this house to see the world. I, I am not going anywhere. I'm, I'm staying right here to fucking Dave evicts me. Evicts you? I gotta get money and I gotta get Lisa back. Baby, you have a problem. You can't do this alone. Now, I know your father isn't here, but if he were here, so, he would. He's not here. Mom, he's not here. He's not here. <laughs> Isn't that we all? 
Congratulations, fellas. I'm so proud of you guys. Hey, a little toast to your success, yeah. uh, to your future endeavors in storytelling and changing lives. Yeah. 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 Hang in page. Right. Yes, like there we go. Dennis, what are you doing here, man? Shut up, asshole. After 10 years, 10 years, and you fire me? Dad, what's going on? You ruined my life! Okay, look, look, Dennis, let's just talk about it. Whoa! Yo! Yo, yo man! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fuck it! This lunatic just came out of nowhere on my graduation day and he took my dad away. And I was so angry. They couldn't do anything about it. I, I couldn't stop it. And slowly but surely, I just saw the outside world and I just... I couldn't do it anymore. I, every time I would go outside, I'd just see him there and just dead. I know, I know, baby. I know this has been hard on you. It's been hard on me, too. But look at me. This is not what your father would have wanted for you. But I'm sure you wanted to live. And so do I. This is, this is why I stay inside where it's safe. Listen to me, okay? When your father died, I cried so much and for so long. I didn't have any tears left to cry. And then you dealing with your condition, you couldn't come and see me. And I was in pain, I was alone. And I knew I needed help. So I found a, a group therapy. And, and, and also, you know, it's where I met Roy. And, and Roy has been a blessing. He's been taking me places and making me feel Wait, that. you're cheating on dad? No. Listen, I can't cheat on your father. Your father is gone. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll be able to get out there and no, live again. No, 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 this is where I belong. This is where it's safe. No, baby, Matt, Matt. No, mom, please, just, just, it's fine. Just, just, just go, just go be with Ray. Roy. I don't care, he's not dead, all right? Just, just, just go, go on your trips and just have a good time. Mom, oh, please. Listen. Mom, no, but nothing. Just, just please leave. Please. I love you. And I'm here for you, no matter what. I'm coming! God. Hold your horses. Hey, man, what's up? What's up is every time I see you, you starting to look more and more fucked up. They should make a bottle of whiskey that refills itself. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Give me that. Ah, uh, my head is killing me. I see why you didn't want to go to the titty bar. You'd have got drunk and tried to touch all the titties. And they got a real strict policy about that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know about that. Get your ass policy. smoothed out. Please, believe you me, I know. I did not take you for an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm an agoraphobic. One who has sex with frogs? I think that's an ecosexual. Mm, right. Well, seeing you all drunk and out your mind and fucked up, start reminding me of myself and how I used to be. Losing my mind, lost women, lost money, lost opportunity, lost all that shit. One good thing came out of it. 
What's that? It's part of me. A script about my life. But I used to get all fucked up and drunk and losing my mind. And then going to AA and, and I turned it all around and got it back together. <laughs> Sound like a Disney movie. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I was just hoping that maybe you can use it to get your life back on track. Huh? You know, that's... That's why I did Life's a Beach. It just felt so real. You know, me and my boys, we, we had just finished up our last year at grad school, went on this beach vacation, just scared. We didn't know what was going to happen next. <laughs> so I just wanted to document the whole thing, you know? Just, Show these four guys trying to figure out their life. And I don't know, maybe somebody in the same boat could look at them and say, hey, I'm not alone. Mm. Well, looks like my work here is done. And on that note, I'm out, kid. You make it happen, all right? Make me proud. Um, you wouldn't happen to have any quarters, like a roll of quarters. I gotta wash a couple comforters. Uh, no, Norman, I don't have, no. No quarters? I don't have any quarters. Okay, that's right. Maybe you can do some with that script and give me a wash. I'm not doing it. Hey, I need you. It's an emergency. You came. Said it was an emergency, so what's the emergency? Please, come in. After I read Norman's script, I was like, I could do this. Right? So I, I, I made my way to the door and... Couldn't do it. Sorry to hear that, Matt. That's it? Yep. That's all I'm gonna get? That's all I got. Yeah, I get it. Probably still mad about the panties thing. It's not like we're a thing. And we shouldn't be. You're my patient. So, whosoever panties those were, be it your ex, or a groupie, or an actress trying to get a part. Or in my case, all the above. What? 
Samantha did come by and she, she tried to seduce me. It was probably just to get a role in my movie. But I don't, I don't, I, I didn't want to be away from the world. I, I didn't want to be all alone. But you're not all alone. You have your fans, your friends, your family. And you even have me. I do. Yeah. Thank you. Are you ready to get to this meeting? No. What else is there? I saw my father... I saw my father die right in front of me. Some crazy person just ended his life. I can't get past that. I, I see it over and over and over again every time I try to go outside. Admitting that was big. But you know what's more powerful than fear? Love. I want you to close your eyes and picture all the things and people you love and let that set you free. What do you see? See Cedric and I back on set making movies again. That's awesome. See you and me running hand in hand on the beach. <laughs> see us at our wedding. Big house, bunch of little rugrats running around. Okay, that's a bit. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. That's too soon. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm ready to get out there and make things happen. I'll be right here. Are you set? What's going on? I can't do this. Are you serious? No, 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 I, I, I can do this. I just gotta do something else first. Today is day 500. So, it's 500 days since I've been outside. That's a long ass time. <laughs> um, Surprised I didn't lose my mind. But it was with your support and the help of some really amazing people. And a very special woman. And I'm finally ready to go out there and face my fears and get back to doing what I love. Now, I suffered from agoraphobia. And you may be suffering from something too, but just, just know that whatever that something is, you can overcome it. It took me some, some much needed time, a lot of therapy, and just me getting my shit right. But, but I'm better now. I'm ready to go out there and just live a happy, fulfilling life. And with that said, hello world. I'm back. And I love you guys, too. I am so proud of you. I couldn't have done this without you. based on your real life experience of suffering and overcoming agoraphobia. Yes, correct. You know, when I went to the studio about this idea, I just, I'd let them know how much I wanted to really help people you know, overcome their traumas. So uh, thankfully they believed in my vision. So. <laughs> yeah. 
and cut us a big ass check. <laughs> I just got a Gucci belt. Did it for the love like tennis, master with the peak, above all limits, no plaques in my heart. I was no dentist. Imagine just Emmanuel, there was no image. Whether you were selling coke or folding clothes, those days are over for like numbers. Baby, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Look at you, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Ma. I want Thank you to meet you. Roy. Hey, man, what's up, man? Uh we not good. We're not there yet. Okay. Made it from my coast. Professor was fresh. I graduated dope. No more IOUs. Why? No vows. Paid my dues. Ah. You did your thing. You got next, bro. Oh, oh, I got next now. I'm on tour right now. What? Yeah, yeah. Get my life. After you got your life together, why not get mine? Hey, you know, so hey, I'm on tour. Right. Got my lady back. I got. I got. Her son moved out. That's that's so good. That's, I ain't got to deal with him. No, I gotta go. That's oh, okay, okay. okay. Well, I'll, I'll call you. I'll take it. <laughs> Today, day after day, welcome to tomorrow, it's a day away, it's a day away, it's a day away, welcome to today, today, better day yesterday, day yesterday, today let the sunshine kiss my face, so I think, if we're all humans, but we race, when no one wins, why keep pace, all in line for life my faith, I feast on hate, much on pain, consume all doubt, snack on fame, Hunger for more, second song plate, you hunger for a taste, yeah, go ahead, bite me, leave teeth marks on my Nikes, I just might be, blood type, type B, ain't no typos, God don't make those, no mistakes, yo, you are here for a bigger reason, literally speaking like I'm literally speaking. <laughs> cool, right there. Awesome. I think I smell a hit, man. <laughs> thank you. Great job. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you look lovely. Awesome job. Thank you.